Hey everyone, I would like to talk to you today about my Maxpedition Lunata EDC bag. This is an old bag, and I got it from eBay in the mail yesterday, actually. Uh, I needed something a little bit bigger than my pocket pouch by Maxpedition. This looks kind of like it's faded, but it's not faded. It's just the lighting in here, and for some reason the color of the camera, I guess. So, there's not too many videos that I've seen on this particular bag. I did a lot of research on different bags, EDC bags. This is a sling bag. And this bag, the seller that I bought it from told me that he's had it since 2013. So, this is not one of their newer bags. You can still get these brand new. They run you um, anywhere between, I think, just over 80 all the way up to over a hundred dollars for this bag and there's a remora which is one smaller than this that doesn't have this pocket up here so it's just got like this pocket this pocket this pocket and the back pocket so um i filled this up last night with my stuff and i decided to um carry it actually I washed it and I kind of sanitized the inside and I mean it looks pretty much brand new the only thing that um it's missing the zipper pull on here so I just have to put some black paracord on here other than that it's missing one strap that connects from here um <clears throat> to somewhere else on this bag and I wasn't worried about that and I can buy one from the company if I want to um, <clears throat> and so this is the bag that I wanted after doing a ton of research on different bigger Maxpedition EDC bags um, this particular bag is smaller than a backpack but big enough to fit the items that I would be taking with me and I'm not going to go into all the specs about this bag because, first of all, I'm not sure about all the specs. Uh, but you can attach different packs to it because of the molly webbing. And once again, yes, it looks faded here, but it's really not. It's all black. Uh, and these are water-resistant bags. So in the first pocket, in the front here, I have Kleenex. And I have gum. This is one of my favorite, polar ice. Um, something that I don't think I've ever seen anybody carrying in an EDC bag that I got the idea to carry only because I work in an office and a lot of times I go to work and there's lint on my shirts, especially the black ones. I do have two cats, but I don't have lint all over my clothes. But when I do, especially the black ones, I put a lint roller in here. This is my little travel one. And this is really cool because it kind of cleans itself off when you slide it in and out of here. And then you can empty it by taking this off. So I have that in there. And that's all I have in the front pocket here. So we go to the next pocket. <clears throat> which is a zipper around pocket and it's got organization pouches as i'm sure you all know who have maxpedition products or have researched these so i have a little change pouch in here i have two reusable stainless steel expandable straws this one is mine and this one my sister gave me um, so if somebody's with me and they need a straw for whatever reason, they can use this. Hand sanitizer. Um, my fidget spinner from my friend's company, 7D. I like to have something to play with because sometimes I get bored when I'm just sitting there in the office or something. So I can be occupied by that. Um, chapstick. And then in here, I have a 
uh, battery charger for my phone. Uh, it's got advertising on the other side. Somebody gave it to me, one of our customers, so I'm not going to turn it over. But I may get a different one of these. Uh, just because maybe there's one that charges faster than that one does. More tissues. A dude wipe in here. Um, alcohol wipes. What else do I have in here? Um, let's see. That's pretty much all I have in that pocket. There is a little key keeper in here but I don't have anything on it. And then there's a pocket here, which you could probably slide like a water bottle or an umbrella in or something. I don't have anything in there. This is the pocket that I need to put the paracord on the zipper pull. Uh, in here I have a flashlight. I have my headphones for my phone. I have a eyeglass cleaner. For my sunglasses from Costco, just a freebie one, microfiber cloth. And then I also have this really cool little portable phone stand I got from the 99 cent store the other night. And it holds the phone pretty good. I like the compactability of this. It's really neat. The big pocket... I need two hands to open the zipper. So, in the big compartment, I don't have anything in this pouch. Um, I do have, in this back pouch, I have cough drops. I use these because having sleep apnea <clears throat> and post-nasal drip, my throat is raw quite a bit. Or it just kind of is irritated, so I like to carry cough drops with me. And these are from Dollar Tree, but they actually are not bad. So, they're menthol. They're good. For, they soothe your throat pretty well, actually. And then I have some vitamin C drops, also from Dollar Tree. Tastes pretty good. And they're good for you, I, I'm assuming, since they're vitamin C. I have my iPod charger. I know who uses iPods anymore. I do. My vintage iPod Touch. Pretty cool. Still works. And then I have my... This is what started me on Maxpedition. Was this here? This is my Maxpedition mini EDC pocket organizer. This is what I was, I've been carrying for over a month in my... Uh, left side pocket and I took some of the stuff from this pouch to organize it into my bag and so right now I just have like a few things in here I have a screwdriver mini screwdriver the zebra f701 pen I have um, breath strips I have the refillable um, refill for the Fisher Space Pen, which fits in the Zebra pen. I have earplugs down in the pocket. And then on this side, I have a an extra mask. Some paper, which I'm waiting on my Right in the Rain pad to come in. And this is just a little basic, basic first aid kit that I'm going to uh, put more first aid stuff in here just in case. I have in the back pocket, I have a light stick. Uh, I have these hand wipes. So if I'm eating some Cheetos or something, I can wipe it off with my hands. I have a uh, tape measure. And then in the back pocket here... Oh yeah, I have a hand spray sanitizer on the side here. I don't know if I'm going to leave it there. Or if I'm going to remove it. But it's there just to get to it quick. And this pocket here is actually for a concealed carry. But I live in California in Los Angeles. And I do not own a gun. So obviously also it's very hard to get a concealed carry here in California. I've heard depending on where you live. So this is just uh, 
real quick thing I threw in, which is a um, couple produce bags. I already had to use one of these, actually. It's pretty funny. Um, I used one of these to put some don a bag of donuts in. And so these this came in really handy to keep them fresh because we were out. And um, to keep them, the grease from going everywhere as well. Uh, another mask and some gloves. And that's all I have in here right now. Since I just started carrying this bag today, I'm probably going to be adding, maybe taking away some stuff from this bag. But um, like I said, I did a lot of research on these bags. I paid for this bag on eBay. I paid with shipping $50. And that is a heck of a deal. So the strap also has some po a pocket here and some D rings, which I might stick some hand sanitizer on. So I hope that's helped you to decide what kind of bag you might like to carry. I've never really carried a man bag before, um, but this is really cool. And I like to have the stuff with me that I might need throughout the day. Um, so, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Everybody stay safe and healthy.